Hey guys, this is Flo from Behind the Mask and this video is called Colors of 2020 because 2020 was actually a quite colorful year. I mean, many would argue it wasn't the best year we ever had globally as a human race, but at least it's coming to an end now. And that is a perfect opportunity for us to announce all the projects we've been doing over the summer that we've been hiding from you. Because as filmmakers, if we don't have anything relevant to say to the world, then it's totally fine to be quiet and shut up for a while and focus on ourselves, on the things we have to do or the things we always wanted to do. So we spend a lot of time doing artwork, we made music, we adopted a cat, we got a baby, we were practicing to set a new world record in underwater kissing, we tried to teach our cats how to edit our videos so that we can retire. We've been crocheting like champions. We even went skiing, renovating the house, and we spent countless hours behind the desk to fiddle around with our equipment. A big mess, but I'm having fun. We had video calls with clients all over the world. We've been filming all kinds of food and we've been to Mars. And on top of it, Greg was doing an amazing book, a coffee table book about our expedition to Antarctica that we did before with Guillaume Nery and Greg Lecoeur, uh, you know, the usual suspects. And that book, it has 187 pages full of fantastic photographs but also it talks about our personal experience and the scientific backgrounds about this unique ecosystem Antarctica. And you can actually win a book. Just leave us a comment and tell us something that we're really curious to know about. What is it that you've been doing over the year to compensate for the lack of diving opportunities? What was it? What was your thing? over the year. Leave us a comment about it and you know attach a photo or a video if you have one and then before the year is over we're gonna randomly pick three winners and send them the books. So good luck with that. Okay so what is it now that we've been doing? The projects that we've been doing. The first one is this. We've been to the Azores and we made, we made a bunch of videos about it. Just uh, magic, how close they come, the interaction you have with them, yeah, it's something unreal. Even in the most beautiful souls, there is something inside. And all of these secrets untold become scars that we hide.
What is really striking me the most is the feeling when you are in the Azores. It's just a fantastic place to hang out. We actually think about setting up our behind the mask headquarter there, but don't tell anyone. Um, it's still in the planning. And now a little technical sidekick. You know, the video that you just saw was filmed with this guy here. This is a wide angle converter port from our friends over at Nordicam. In this case, it's the wide angle converter port version two that just came out uh, in the beginning of the year. And because not a lot of folks actually had the opportunity to, you know, use it, uh, we thought we just make a little video um, to explain you guys what are the benefits of using it and how does it work. And this video will also be released during the next couple of weeks. And we've been using this guy also on the next project that I would like to tell you a little bit about, which is the Mediterranean Sea with Greg Lecoeur. Just um, 11 o'clock, about 100 meters away. And it stayed there and didn't go down. We're going to die with it. We're getting ready. In total, I saw seven. Like four here, two over there, and one over there. And I saw there's one coming nearby. It's becoming a problem with the camera. What? Because it's fogging. If we don't go, it's fogging. Okay. Because it's running now, and then it's, in, it's not in the water. Yeah, let's go. Okay. Uh -huh. It's important to get the face, the eyes of the animal in order to let people understand they're not actually escaping. eyes of the whale, when they look at you, the moment you will never forget. Maybe there is not really any kind of interaction or connection with wildlife, but you always try to find that way to achieve something in the relationship between you and nature. You're not going to find it in the videos, but I, I'm really happy about this little success. Hmm, I would say, what do you think? Do they want to see another technical sidekick about a wireless underwater, you know, remote control for video lights? Or should we make a separate video for that? Well, I think we should make a separate video for that because that is technical stuff and very exciting for people who actually use the things uh, underwater. So uh, what is so exciting about this? Well, it's so exciting that it actually works. It works for like a long distance underwater to wirelessly turn on the light, you know, when you put it somewhere else, even if you just put it on the side of your camera. Um, and so why is that important in that context? Well, it is important because um, the projects you're going to see next would not have been possible to uh, perform if this kind of technology would not have been available to us. So have a look.
Hmm? Okay. How did you like the film? Hmm? Yeah. So that project is actually called Light Flight. Um, it is a special project for us because we always said we wanted to do something together with Nick, Linda, you know, the everybody's darling freediver who is uh, just a super cool guy and uh, who <laughs> basically spent a week there with us to do that. And there were a lot of technical challenges that we had to overcome to do that. Just to think about it, how do you actually film a freediver going down and you film him from the front? You know, filming backwards underwater is really, really uh, difficult. Not only going down, but also coming up. So what you see there is um, a seven day work project. That was, of course, a lot of fun. Yeah, and uh, there is no better place to actually do things like this than a controlled environment like the pool called Y40 in Italy, which is near uh, Venice uh, in Padua. Um, and that is a real underwater creative playground where you can control the whole environment and where you have people and an atmosphere, you know, around, which is authentic and very welcoming. So we decided to take this video as the last video of the year um, to transition from 2020 to 21, basically following the light coming up into a new year with hopefully new bright opportunities. And um, yeah, there's also another one, of course, um, because we spared this one for last because it's uh, also a very special project for us. Uh, a very unique project. I would say probably the most unpredicted <laughs> project of 2020 uh, that we did. It's called La Fenice Blue. And before I talk too much about it, just have a glimpse. What is that sound? Why is it so loud? Where is the beat of the world? So this is it, La Fenice Blue, the Blue Phoenix, going to be released on Christmas. And you can already turn on your notifications because we've been setting up a premiere on Facebook for that. Uh, the link to that is in the description of this video, but it's also going to be on YouTube, of course. We hope you are happy to have us back. At least we are. We can't wait to go out there uh, again and take all the things that we've been thinking about and all the plans we made and all the experience and inspirations we had to all package it together into a new behind the mask approach for the year 2021. So thanks a lot. See you there. Thinking up a million ways to get far from Thinking up a million things to say To make my reasons clear Cause I wanna be A million miles
miles away from here Cause I wanna be A million miles away